Hey, what's going on everyone? Good to see each and every one of you. So I'm here on a broadcast doing a take two, making sure everything is great. Let's see here. Part two, here we go. Yes, everything is great. I'm excited. Okay, so let me scoot you guys up a bit. All right, I'm so excited because I'm like, you guys have to see this. You have to see uh, see this because it's going to be awesome. One second. Make sure. Hopefully I write big enough. I don't know, but we're going to work this thing out so you guys can see the whole board. It's important to me for you guys to get this. Okay, so if you are watching this now, do me a favor. This is going to be so fun. It's fun to me because you guys are going to be woken up. You're going to be enlightened. You're going to be saying, oh my gosh, I wish I would have done this before. Why didn't I not see this this way before? You're going to be so super excited. So, of course, I can't see your comments on there. So I'm going to try to have my best to look at your comments as we go through this whole demonstration. Now, what we're about to do is I'm about to these are this is for the visual learners. OK, so those who need to see um, it's one thing. If I tell you the tips and you're writing them down in your notes, it's another thing if I'm explaining it verbally. Uh, maybe on the phone or even on the computer and different things like that. But I kind of want you guys to get in the inside working on what goes into my mind when I do consultations with other self-published authors and also aspiring authors. Because a lot of people come to me, not just to publish their books, but a lot of individuals come over here to Authors in Business because they're like, how do I make money with my story? How do I make money with my book? Um, when I published my book, I thought I was going to make all these different sales. How is it that you're flourishing? How are other authors and your membership flourishing? What is it that I'm missing? And so I want to share with you guys on how it's really easier um, to see it. Um, for me, seeing is believing. And also where you guys can jot this down too. So I like flow charts. So that's where we're going to start. So if you recently published a book, or maybe you, your book has been published for a very long time, the first thing you want to do is start with one thing. Somebody type in the comments, one thing. So, especially here in Authors in Business, our one thing is the book, okay? So here we're going to uh, write book, okay? So this is the one thing we're going to take, and how can we make income with this one book i'm not talking about those 10 books you don't publish i'm not talking about those five books you don't publish those five stories you're waiting on publishing i'm talking about just one book how can you turn this thing into some income how can you turn this thing into a business how can you make more revenue to be able to buy more books? A lot of authors, we publish our books and we forget the part that we have to buy more books to sell, right? How do we do this? So some of you guys may be thinking about, I want to become a speaker. Some of you guys, and we can dive into that. Some of you guys saying, I want my books on the bookshelves. Some of you guys may be saying you want to start doing workshops or courses and different things like that, which all stems from, has to stem from, just one book just focus on what is that one thing that will feed every other big idea you have if you're like me right and we call these types of people entrepreneur bouncers where they start the one thing and it doesn't pan out the way they think and then they bounce over to another project or to another business idea or whatever the case may be and that's just how their mind works. They're always a creative. They always have great ideas in their minds. It's like they can do it. I don't, and the reason why I'm talking like that is because I was like that. But you can definitely still keep your personality, still keep the way you think, still keep being creative when you focus on one thing that feeds many things. So this is how, just in the simplest format, on how to turn this thing into a business. 
All right, so the first thing I do is say, okay, well, what, how, how many formats can I make this book? So you have your ebook, all right? You also have your paperback, and then you have your hardback, okay? You have your ebook, your paperback, and also your hardback book, okay? So, some of you guys just only publish an ebook, all right? You could take the same book and turn it into a paperback book. You could take the same book and turn it into a hardback book. Now you have three different formats of this one book, okay? So then, after you take this, after you say, okay, I have three different formats, then you can say to yourself, we're gonna talk about, let's do bookstores for this one because you can take it so many different outlets, okay? So you say, okay, I have these three books, uh, these three types of formats on one book, where am I gonna sell it? How am I gonna sell it? So after you published these three types of books, all right, you can say, okay, I wanna, I wanna become a, a speaker, all right? So when you come over here, and you say speaking engagements, okay, engagements, all right, here, well, how many are you going to do in a month? How many do you want to do in a week? How many do you want to do, of course, in the first quarter of the year? So right now we're in the last quarter. So if you're planning for the first quarter, you'll say, okay, I wanna do 10, 10 um, events, 10 speaking engagements, okay? And so here, under here, this is where you get a little bit more clear. Okay, where are these speaking engagements gonna be? Is it schools, churches, et cetera? And the list can go on, okay? So you have schools, churches, and et cetera. Okay, so then you have to decide how many, what is the number of people, okay? So the number of people in the audience in order to sell your books. So you can say, well, I need to at least sell 50 copies every time I speak, okay? Every time I speak, I need to sell at least 50 copies. Well, 50 copies, at 10 at each school, that's 500 books, okay? Now, I do this with my, my daughter a lot of often times because it comes out a little better when you're able to see it, all right? Good to see you, Tabitha, good to see you. Um, uh, where is part one? Well, part one, girl, we messed up on it, so this is part two, really. But it's really part one because we kind of messed up on it. Good to see you, Lindsay. So if your goal is 500 books, this is a way to do it. So now what do you have to do as a business owner? You can search. You can Google search the schools, the superintendents, the superintendents. What will make the school purchase the books? Well, it goes into making an instruction material, having questions with the book. So that means it brings you back to this one thing. What else do I need to have up under here is maybe a workbook. Are you gonna do a, a digital workbook? Or are you gonna do a paperback workbook? Because your goal over here is schools, okay? And this all goes under here like this. All right, schools, so you know a way to get into these schools, you need a workbook. Well, what if they won't give you a speaking engagement? What if the churches don't give you a speaking engagement? How can you get, still get in these churches? Uh, well, the churches have bookstores, okay? So they have bookstores too as well. So you can literally Google, I'm telling you guys, you can literally Google the churches and also the bookstores and have a book signing in their stores. Well, how else? Maybe they won't give you a book signing. Then you could say, hey, look, they can give me consignment, right? Consignment. Okay? So with consignment, that means you drop off 10 books, 
you get 60, the bookstore gets 40% of the book sale. So now that's when you start saying, okay, now my book, I want speaking engagements. I have my hardback book and I also have my workbook and my paperback book. I wanna do 10 speaking engagements within the first three months of 2020. What kind of events do I want? I wanna be at schools and I also wanna be at churches, okay? What else does schools have except for just speaking engagements? They also have libraries too as well. If you have a children's book, you can read to the students inside of the library. You can get, you can send out, also schools have PTA, where you can send out a flyer, a paper flyer. This is what you can do literally on a shoestring budget. And a lot of people don't think that stuff like this is possible, or they think it's so big, or somebody may be um, promoting something or selling something to you where you feel like you got to do all of this work in order to accomplish your goal of just 500 books. All right. So when you have uh, the speaking engagements, you got to get creative. So at the schools, you can read to the schools. Maybe your, your book is preventative action. You can also uh, do PTA meetings. You can show up at PTA meetings or with the PTA president. They have a whole national thing going on, the PTA um, party um, around the whole United States. So if you get in with the PTA, guess what? They will have you speaking at all these schools nationwide. And guess what? The majority of your business will come from the PTA from what? One book, just one thing, guys, just one thing. And then you have the schools or the PTA. You also have Scholastics too as well to where you can get in with Scholastics and get your book inside of the, um, the book flyer. I know if you guys are parents, you've seen the book, you've seen the flyers, you've seen the school announcements, you see the fundraisers um, going on where you can talk to the school, say, hey, look school, I want to help raise money for your school. What we can do is sell this book. The school keeps 50% of the profits. I keep the other 50% of the profits. And let's do a fundraiser around my book. Bam, you are now rolling in dough. Because if you look in just your radius, just in your school district, I'm not talking about the whole United States. I'm talking about starting where you are, doing the best you can with what you have and where you are. How many elementary schools are just in your school district, right? And some of you guys keep passing by the stuff and it's right there, right in front of your face the whole entire time. Okay, what about churches? Well, how if I can't get into the bookstore, Desiree, and I can't do a book signing, Desiree, and they don't have consignment, what else can I do? Well, the church has church announcements and bulletins, okay? So I know for a fact that I've done this with two or three, I think it was three of my members to where we told them to do this. And they literally went into the church, talked to the person who does the bulletin is usually an usher or a deacon. And what they did was to say, Hey, can I slip a flyer inside of the bulletin? Can I, um, how much is it to print inside of the bulletin for the announcement section? Um, this is all advertising. Why? Because mo more than likely people who go to church and they get a bulletin, they usually either usually take their notes and take that bulletin home with them, or they stick it in their Bible, or they refer back to it later. Everybody doesn't throw the church bulletin in the trash. So you can market or advertise with the church bulletins too as well. Well, your goal is just 50 copies every for every 10 things so this can be 10 bookstores this can be 10 schools this can be 10 events and so forth and so forth and so when you sell out 50 copies at each event you're going to do 500 books now some of these places you're only going to sell 10 books some of these places you may only sell 20. some of these places you'll sell 60. some of them are 70 books like that but don't give up if you just sell four books at one place because you don't know if those four people know 10 or 50 other people, all right? So you wanna, even though it's not a big sales thing, you wanna go all out, all out like as if it is because you don't know who's in that audience that's gonna help you take, take you to the next place, all right? So when you have 500 books every quarter, so we have four quarters, right? 
So that is 500 times uh, four, four quarters. That is 2,000 books in one year. This is in one year. I need another marker. This is all in one whole year, okay? All in one whole year, you sold 2,000 books. Now, a lot of self-published authors can't even reach that. And so a lot of times people ask me, how do you even sell 20,000 books? Well, I just increased the number of books of my goal. I just increased my goal. So instead of 50 copies, my goal was around 150 copies. Okay, so you see how you can do that, which is 10 engagements every quarter. And so people are like, well, wow, I didn't know how you can do that. And so that's how you can definitely do that um, for little of nothing. Like how much work did it really take? And so now that you have that, you're more clear. Now you have a goal, you know your destination, you know how much gas you need to drive to this place. You know how many more connections you need to make, how many people you need to network with, how many more people that need to see you in order to reach your goal, all right? So that is just one, one thing. Let me look at the comments here. Good to see you, Comfort. Thank you so much for joining me. Okay, um, I want all the info, <laughs> okay? Uh, thank you, Lindsay, all the way from South Africa. Thank you so much, paperback workbook only. So um, it can be passed around in PDF form. Yes, that is correct. I've never thought of consignment. Yes, you can do consignment. So now let's erase this, right? So the goal has changed, right? So let's say the goal has changed. The placement. I think a lot of you guys have got lost because you're like, okay, I have this book. Uh-oh. Thank you. So some of you guys are like, I have this book, but where do I where do I place it? How do I make more money? How do I go from this? How do I go from that? And if you guys have any questions, make sure you guys are sharing this broadcast out. I will not delete it. Um, so you can look back at it as your reference to as well. And also tag your author besties too as well, okay? Um, so definitely share this out with as many people as possible so that they can get this information too because it becomes more clear. You're not just running around. So maybe you're saying to yourself, all right, I want to just do it online, okay? I'm not really, I'm an introvert. I really want to help people, but I just really want to do it online daily. I don't think I have the, the courage right now or I have to build up the courage enough to stand on stage and I just want to do it online. Well, still, it's one thing. Somebody type inside the chat, one thing, just one thing, guys, okay? Trust me on this, one thing. Now, when you're saying, I just want to stay online, well, what else can you do? How can you take this one book and turn it into multiple streams of income? Well, you can definitely do that with products, okay? So we're going to come down here and we're going to put uh, products. All right? So some of the products that you probably already heard of, all right, some of the products that you probably already heard of, but some of these, it kind of just rewires your brain to really expand upon that one seed that you planted. That one seed that you planted, it grows to be this big apple tree that bears multiple fruit. That's what I want to remind you guys of is that God has given you this idea. He has given you this one thing. You're like, well, God, where, where's my, where's my fruit? Where is, where is it at? Well, sometimes it's still just buried under the ground and you could take something like this to break the ground so that it can continue to grow and bear multiple fruit. All right. So you have your products. What type of products can you have? All right. You can have a DVD. Okay. You can have an audio book. You can have a um, iTunes uh, audio, iTunes podcast. You can have iTunes music, iTunes playlists. You can also have merchandise. All right. 
You can also have um, Amazon Prime. You can have it on Prime. You can have it have your this one book, this story on um, Netflix if you wanted it to. All right. You can also have uh, what else can you have? You can have merchandise. You can have digital digital products. Okay. You can have subscriptions. Okay, you can have subscriptions. What else can you have? You can have, uh, which falls under merchandise, bookmarks, keychains, notebooks, uh, uh, mouse pads. You can have t-shirts. You can have jackets. You can have hats. All under merchandise, and this all falls under your product. All right, you can also have a web series. And you can sell advertisement on your web series. What else can you do right now? Type it inside of the chat if there's something else that you can do right now as products to your book, all right? And so when you have this, if you're just saying, I just want to do products, how am I making money from this? Well, from the book, when you sell a book, you can upsell the book by saying, hey, look, they go to your, when you do your book, right? Maybe you do um, YouTube. Maybe it's live stream. All right. Maybe it's just you recording. Etc. Now, some of you guys might be saying, well, I don't have a new camera like the people that I see. I don't have this stuff and this and the other. But guess what, guys? You don't have to have it, but somebody else may have it. So who else may have this stuff um, to help you flourish with it, right? Who else may have this stuff? Well, you may say, look, Desiree, I don't have it, but somebody else may have it. Look. You got film school, film school, film students who need to record something to turn it into a story for their class. You also have interns. You can find interns on Craigslist. You can go to interns.com, um, volunteers. Um, I mean, every there's a lot of people. You can also find people who just need to build up their catalog to be able to sell some more different things. You can also get photographers. You can go on Instagram and put in the hashtag photographers in your town. And I promise you, you can literally negotiate the price within your DMs. How am I so confident about that? It's because that's what I do. So I can stay under my budget. I always talk to individuals who need assistance to help up, but I still want to pay them because I don't want to take advantage of them. Some people just want gas. Some people just want recognition, <clears throat> excuse me, on their stuff too as well. So you can do that to help you with your products, okay? To film this in order to turn it into a DVD, to take the audio in order to turn it into an audio book. Also, your merchandise. Well, you got to be a member to know where where we go to do our merchandise. Also, um, digital or Prime. You have to be a member to know where, how would you put your video on Prime too as well. But I'm sure that you guys can come up with more products to do this. Now, how does this translate into money? Well, you have to have a goal. So it's like, okay, I take the book and I make YouTubes and live streams and I record it. I have my film students take this to then go to this to sell these products, okay? Then you have a goal when you have to say, well, where, where is all this going, Desiree? Well, how many, what is the number of DVDs do you have to sell? Well, look, when I go to my speaking engagements, I'm not just selling my book. I'm also selling my DVD. I'm also selling um, where they can sign up to do subscriptions. So now your profit margin increases because at that speaking engagement, at that event, it goes up. Oh, excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. I almost tripped. 
but it goes up okay so it definitely goes up um when you say okay i'm going to put this into a package when then turns around into a bundle yes uh Lindsay said coffee mugs yes absolutely that will go under merchandise okay that will definitely go under merchandise all right so let's take this off let's start over so sometimes just like this board you got to say oh my gosh let me just take this away and do it over again all right so let's erase this and start from scratch and he said okay god what what can i do i need income in order to serve more people it's not that you guys just want to sell your book live rich be on the beach and all that some of you a lot of us we really love what it is we do as you guys can see i'm so passionate <laughs> just on this live stream to share this with you because a lot of people don't do that right so if you say again it's just one thing so we're going to start again at with our book okay just one thing we're going to start again with just the book so you say your goal may be i want to enlarge my territory lord enlarge the territory okay and so you're saying okay how can i Get this book in as many hands as possible with what I just know. And as you continue to build experiences, of course, you will get to know more. So you're saying, okay, I want to enlarge my territory. Well, to do that with this one book, you can go um, have book signing, a book signing tour. All right, tour. And you might say to yourself, Oh my gosh, how, what in the world am I going to do with that? Okay, some of you guys might say, okay, what am I going to do with that, D. Lee? I hope you guys can see it. All right. So with this, uh, yeah, I do need a smart board, Tabitha. So someone wants to get me, uh, gift me with the smart board. My birthday's next month, actually. Um, that would be such a blessing. Okay. So here with, um, the doing a tour you want to venture out so start within your state okay so what places can you do this in you can do this at uh starbucks some of you guys don't know that but you can host an event at starbucks you can do it at restaurants let me see you can do it at restaurants just like starbucks you can also we said churches before so let me just put this in here now again but you could do it at churches you can do it at, um, they have venues, all right? You can do it at uh, museums, all right? Where else can you host this? You can do it at festivals, okay? You can also do it at, um, uh, oh, libraries. I'm just gonna, I don't know if you guys can see all this. Let me just put a point here. Libraries. All right, you can do it at, uh, where else can you do it at? You can do it at uh, colleges. They have junior colleges. They have universities. They have, uh, what else? They have vocational colleges. Um, uh, what else they can do it at? You can do it in classes. Some classes allow you to uh, talk to the students too as well. You can do it there. Um, where else can you do that? You can even have it at the park if you wanted it to. Um, what else can you do it at? Oh, book clubs. You can do book clubs, right? They have a lot of people who have book clubs. Or you can do like the Avon method and go into um, people's homes. You can go to home to home, okay? Your friends. Some of your friends are saying, I want the book, but I don't have money. You can tell them to invite 10 of their friends at their, at their home and get some snacks, get some cheese and crackers, maybe a little bit of wine or whatever the case may be, and go into people's homes. Your friends are comfortable with having you at their house at a, at, at a gathering and you'll be able to talk to them all. I mean, this is something I would do at Thanksgiving, especially if my whole entire family's there 
And I would do that there too as well, especially when it's your friend, they're more likely to bring their friends. And again, our goals was to go to churches and speaking engagements. You don't know who's there, who might say, I want you to come to my church. You don't know who's there, who is a teacher or who is a professor that will bring you there. So then when you have this, you have to have a goal of how many books, what are the number of books that you're going to sell, all right? So you could start off small. You could just say, okay, 50 books times 10 locations. We're just going to put an L here for locations. That's 500 books. All right. You could say 100 books. All right, we're going to put a B here. So, you know, these are for books, right? 100 books times 10 locations. That is 1,000 books sold. All right, you can say, okay, well, I think I can do 200 books, right? Times 10 locations. That's 2,000 books sold. Now, some of you guys can make your goal to how often does this happen? Is it once a month? Is it twice a month? Is it once a week? Is it twice a week? And just like a regular math equation, guys, you can literally change the variable. So it could still be 50 books, but at 20 locations. It could be 100 books at 30 locations. It could be 200 books at this. You have to have a goal. So if your goal is $10,000, listen, listen to me guys on this. This is very important. This is very important, all right? It's not hard to reach $10,000 with one book because maybe it's an online tour. Maybe it's, um, remember we were talking about the products and digital and different things like that that you can definitely do to reach this $10,000 goal. My mom used to say, I, I man, my expenses are high and I'm not going to tell you what the expenses are, but just the regular living. I mean, I'm talking about just the necessities of my life, I was like blown away. And I only have one child. And I'm like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna do this? My mom said, if you break it down by week, all right, so you will break a number down by week, and then you break it up by day, it will let you know how much money you have to make each and every day. So if you're saying, um, let's say, uh, you know, let's say uh, $400 for the week. Well, let's say five. $500 for the week is what you gotta make. So that means you need to make $100, $100 a day, okay? So then you say, okay, with this one book, how many books do I need to sell to make $100 today, Thursday? How many books do I need to sell to make this today. Well, if you're saying that, hey, look, then I need to sell 10 books, oh, not the dollar sign, 10 books times $10 equals $100. All right, so that means, hey, on Thursday, I need to sell 10 books, all right? On Friday, I need to sell 10 books. On Monday, I need to sell 10 books. On Tuesday, I need to sell 10 books. And that is your new goal. When you have it like this, all right, and you break it down, you break this $10,000 down, just like that equation over there, then what happens is, is that your mind opens up. Well, I know I can sell 10 books at Starbucks. Well, on Monday, I'll go to Starbucks. On Tuesday, I go to the library, okay? or whatever the case may be. At the book club, I'll, I'll go there. I just need to sell 10 books today. I know I'm gonna make $100. If I do that every single day, then I know I can make this hundred, this $500 at the end of the week. And so when you do that with the $10,000, your mind opens up, all right? Your mind opens up, all right? And when your mind starts opening up like that, man, I'm telling you, it's like, oh my gosh, are you serious? I can really do it? Yes, you can. It's easier. It's not easier said than done, but it's easier um, when you take action. And you say, okay, now I woke up this morning. I know what I need to do today. It's either do a video, do a live stream video, 
Uh, it's either go out, you know, to that library, pick up the phone and call and ask them, what do I need to do? What is the procedure to host a book signing at your location? What is the procedure to have my book on your shelves? What is the procedure to add my book inside of the bulletin? What is the procedure to have the PTA to send out flyers? So when it's broken down like that, whatever you choose to do, then you are able to focus and zone in and saying PTA, PTA only. This is what I'm going to do. And you just go all in on that one thing. It is a sure way that you are definitely, I can almost guarantee it. If you do not slow down, if you do not slow down, work when you don't feel like working, print out that PTA flyer when you don't feel like it, go to that meeting when you're tired and you know you haven't eaten all day, just make sure you show up and you'll be able to do that. So that's what turning your book into a business is about. It's just like ice. How many ways can I, how many ways can I make money with this one book? How many ways can I make money with this one book? One thing, one thing, one thing, one thing. So if I was Lindsay all the way from South Africa, what I would do is I would do a tour. And I will go to all of the fire stations and I will rally up and I'll start saying, okay, well, I want to go to all the fire stations. I'm going to take one of you guys. Okay. And I'm going to go to all the fire stations. Okay. And then let me see what, what a community or what groups do they have under the fire stations? All right. Where are these groups? They might be in Facebook. They might be on YouTube. Are they on Instagram? Are they just on a flyer? Are they outdoor? Okay, where are these groups of firefighters? I want every firefighter to have my book. I want every firefighter to know that they're not by themselves. When they get my book about me being a firefighter, my life, they're gonna understand that they're not take, burning out these fires in vain. So then after, I exhausted this. I said, okay, well, how can I help people with their businesses? Because Lindsay, a lot of people are saying, I want to do what you do. I want to make money like you're making money. So what you can do is um, say, okay, well, I know how to put out real fires, but what about business fires? All right, what about business fires? How do I put out a fire when a customer is upset and they don't like the way they thought it was supposed to be? What do I do with, how do I put out fires with expectations? How do I put out fires where uh, they put out a product and it's, they have, something's wrong with the product and everything else? How do I put out business fires to as well? And so then I would expand that from one thing, the book, one thing. What am I going to sell? How am I going to sell it? I'm like, okay, fire station, I want to do a fundraiser. All right, okay, fire station, I want you guys to help me raise money so I can sell, I can give these books away. Let me, um, fire station, um, I want you guys to donate some money. I'm doing a campaign because I want to go to all of the academies across the world so I can just give my book away. I need you guys to help me purchase my book so I can just give them away to those individuals who wanna be firefighters. I'll get with the committee, the all women firefighter station, the all women, cause they think men just do it. So maybe me as a, you as a man can go and talk to the woman. They have conventions. I know, I know this for a fact, they have conventions. So maybe you say one of these things, you go to the conventions, you get a table, um, the firefighter conventions, and then you get a table and you sell your books. How many books do you need to sell? 10 books, how many books are 50 books to get to your $10,000? And that's how it looks with one book on how to keep going. All right, good to see you, Bob Mackey. Good to see you, Kate Dunn. Good to see you guys. Good to see you, David. Thank you guys so much for coming in. I appreciate each and every one of you guys here during this broadcast. All right, 
So that is that in a nutshell. I do have more. Um, but also I do want to encourage you guys that you guys can come on tour with us. And that's what the AIB tour is about. Every single year, what we do is we go to three cities every single year. Sometimes we go to more, um, depending on the, the big spectrum of how many authors want uh, to join us during the tour. But there's only a few weeks left for you guys to be able to participate. So make sure you guys are clicking the link inside of this caption here for you guys to register. Now, there is a deposit option for those of you guys who are saying, hey, look, I, I can pay on it. Um, hey, look, we want you. That's how much we want you guys to be able to be able to come with us is that we're offering a deposit option. So make sure you guys are taking advantage of that, too, as well. The tour starts as early as March of 2000 and 20. It's a perfect time for you to go on tour with us. The reason why is because one, it's tax season. Two, as well, that where that's not always the, the big time of the year, but it's one of the biggest times of the year where you'll see a big profit margin um, as a business owner. Um, you'll be able to sell your books. You'll be able to petition other people to get to your workshops. You'll be able to go outside of your territory and see a new audience, a new group of people. And with that, we also put you guys on billboards, um, outdoor digital billboards. We also make sure that we do marketing. We give you guys radio interviews and the list goes on. You just gotta click on the link to see what's all included in that. And so what I wanna encourage you guys to do, if you're saying, hey, I can't do all of that stuff on my own just yet, we invite you guys to come out on tour with us um, so you can literally get your feet wet. Um, before you move forward to see, oh, this is what happens, this is what I need, this is what I don't need, and different things like that, all right? And so don't forget with one book, and this is the last thing, so when we reach 10 people inside of this broadcast, um, I'll tell you guys the last thing. So share and invite your friends. Do a watch party if you have to. Um, once we reach 10 people, I'll show you the next big thing that you can do with one book to uh, increase your revenue. Maybe this wasn't specific to what it is that you need. It was a little bit broad. Maybe you want me to do for you what I did for Lindsay in, in regards to the firefighters. Well, I invite you guys to schedule a consultation with me because this is what I do. I look into what it is that you have, right? And I look at your competition. I scrub the internet to see what's out there, what's working, what have you been doing that is working, what have you been doing that's not working, and so forth and so forth. And so that's what we do when it comes down to one-on-one uh, -on -one consultations, all right, to assist you with that. If you are a member, then you already know that you get a free consultation every single month. So make sure you guys do that. All right. So um, let me do this real quick. Let me see here. Let me help you guys out a little bit here. One second. Let me see. Help you guys, one moment. Thank you guys for the hearts and the thumbs up. I see that, I see you guys out there. Appreciate that a lot. Let's see, it's gonna allow me to share. Yes, it is. Let me see, watch now. Oh, it says I've been on here for four hours. That's not true. <laughs> I could not have been here on here for no four hours. That is not true. It can't be. It just can't be. It can't be. <laughs> oh my gosh, time just flies. I promise you, time literally flies. Oh my gosh, that is so insane. There, that is no, it, it just can't be no truth to that. I've been on here for four hours, no, 45 minutes. All right, all right, any questions?
Okay, any questions? Uh, one book, uh, Smart Boy. Yes, hey, I'm going to be on TV this weekend. Congratulations, 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 uh, Lindsay. That is awesome. Where is the link for the tour? Let me add that here. So here is the link for the tour, Gregory. Inspires.com is dlyinspires.com forward slash 2020 AIB tour. Okay, here is the link. I probably should have copied that. All right, so here is the link. All right, let me go out of this. Uh, let me see here. Come on. All right, so so far I see three shares. Oh God, is it gonna let me go out? All we need is two more people to come in and then we'll be able to move forward. All right, two more people. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. Thank you so much, Gregory, for sharing. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for that, sir. All right, we need one more person. All right, let me see if I can help you guys out and start a watch party here for you. All right. Okay, let's see if I can invite some people in. This is so super exciting. Let me see if we can invite and get this thing up to, for you guys to come on in so we can get to 10. We're just waiting on one more person, one more person to come through and make a reality. All right, we're at 10. Okay, so let's go ahead, keep sharing guys. Keep sharing. All right, so let's go ahead and go. Now, again, this broadcast, for you guys who are coming in, this broadcast, we have talked about all the different ways that you can make and increase your income with just one book. Everybody type one book, one thing. You have to focus on one thing. I know you guys wrote 10 books, but one thing. All right, so a way that you guys can definitely uh, increase, um, let's see here, uh, increase increase this is by doing a um, anthology all right and when you do an anthology off of that one book so maybe it might be firefighters okay so this book might be firefighters all right this book is firefighters right now with your anthology okay you can get let's say 10 people to be a part of this book. So 10 firefighters to be a part of this anthology. Each person, okay, and it's up to you on the pricing now. Don't go out there and say, I told y'all to do this pricing, but it's up to you, okay? So we're gonna start low so we can see that it's possible, but it can go as high as $2,000, sometimes $2,500 to be a part of a book. So say your book, your one thing is you about being a firefighter. So you have your firefighters. You want to create an anthology. You wanna make more money by helping more people. So you have 10 books, I mean 10 people, 10 firefighters here, all right? Each firefighter pays, let's say $100. All right, just to be a part of the book, okay? So each person pays $100, that turns into $1,000 that you just made. Now the beauty of this anthology is, is that you don't have to write this book. The 10 firefighters are writing this book. So what is their $100 going towards? Editing, um, it goes towards creating the book cover, it goes towards uh, uh, the formatting. It goes towards uh, you putting it together on your computer, the time and everything else, because why? You're doing it for them. They're not doing it themselves. You're doing it for them, right? So you charge 10 firefighters from this one book, $100 each, you have $1,000. And that's just to be a part of the book. But what if you said, okay, well, we're gonna go on tour. All right, so this $100 increases to maybe 150, right? If they wanna go on tour, that's 150. 
They want to go on tour with you. That's 150. All right. Maybe it's, uh, you know, um, a, a book signing. Maybe you're doing a book signing. Maybe it's a conference. Maybe you're going to hold a conference around this one book, this anthology. All right. Maybe you're holding a conference. Okay. Maybe you're doing a tour, a book signing, and this and the other. Maybe it's a DVD. Remember the stuff that we were talking about. Maybe it's a DVD. Maybe it's merchandise. All right. Two as well. If they want merchandise. Okay. So the price keeps going up. So if they want to be on tour, it's another $50 for them to be on tour. If they want to be on the panel on the conference, this price increases to $200. It's another price for them to be a part of the conference. Well, maybe you're going to record them, these 10 people sharing their stories, and you're going to turn that into a DVD. Okay, well, that's an extra $100. Because you got to pay the camera guy to put all this stuff together, right? So the cost that these individuals are paying, it comes down to $3,000 total. $3,000 for 10 people, okay? So you have 10 people. Just to be in the book, it's $100. To go on tour, their price increases to $150. To be a part of the conference, it increased another uh, $50. To be a part of the conference, the DVD, and on tour, it increased that $100, increased to $300. $300 times 10 people in this one book comes down to $3,000 that you made off of one book, guys. One book, all right? One book, okay? So... Once you think of all of this, guess what's going to happen? Now that you have this, when you go on this tour, okay? When you go on this tour, you have to keep in mind, you can still make more money. Why? Because they have to buy the book from you, all right? They have to buy the books from you. So what is that cost? How much is that going to be for them to buy? Are you going to give them five free copies because they came on board with you or... Do they have to buy it at a price? What is that price? Also, guess what? When you sell your books at the events, when you sell the books, what is the number of books that you're going to sell? Remember, we said 50 books each speaking engagement. So you can also sell the books. What are you going to sell it as? Are you going to sell it $10 each? All right. What are you going to sell these books at this? Then you can do a bundle. Okay, when you go to these events, or when you go to the tour, when you go to the conference, when you go to the festival, all right, you can sell as a bundle. What is the bundle, guys? The bundle is this book with this DVD. People can, you can sell this, what, for, instead of just the book for $10, maybe this is $25 each. So now your profit margin goes up with just one book that you didn't have to write, okay? You didn't even have to write it. The, the 10 people wrote it, and now you're making money for helping how many people? 10 people, all right? And so you're making more money to help 10 people, and these are this is the method on how you're going to help these 10 people get out there. You're going to help these 10 people flourish. You're going to help these 10 people just get out there when their stories are getting hurt. Not everybody wants to write a full whole book. I just want you guys to know that. Not everybody wants to write a full whole book. Not everybody wants to do all of that. Some people want to be a part of something, a part of what you have, a part of what you are doing, a part of what it is that you are able to give uh, to other individuals and you can do so and be financially stable and run a business I know individuals right now who are literally making 30 40 50 thousand dollars because they do four anthologies every single year they do four anthologies every single year now the price isn't a hundred dollars I just did a hundred dollars as a low number so you guys can see how big bucks you can make. If you said, okay, $1,000, this will turn into $30,000, okay? That you can make with 10 people, all right? So you can make this with 10 people. So you said, we said, what if your goal is $10,000? Remember we said that up here, 
Up here we said, what if your goal is $10,000? Okay, $10,000. Right now you can do that. You can say whatever your book is about. You can help people and make money. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. The more people you help, the more, the greater the reward. I promise you. Sometimes we feel like because we're giving out information or we've been burnt sometimes in our life that you don't want to help people anymore like that or you help them but to a certain extent and everything else like that. But I promise you, if you want to reap from this one seed that you planted, if you want your seed, your idea, this is your book that you wrote about firefighters. This ain't their book. This is your book that you wrote about firefighters. But because you wanted to bear so many, uh, so, so much fruit, you want the roots. This is the root of the tree. This is the root of this one seed. This is the root of your idea that you're able to help so many other people that God is going to get. God says one plant. Okay. One waters. I'm watering it for you. I am literally watering your idea. I don't know how clear this can be. This is what goes on in my mind. Okay. When somebody comes to me and they say, Desiree, how can I turn this into a business? How can I make money? This literally is in my head. It's like in my head. And I'm like, okay, do this, do this, do this, do this. Right. But it's God who brings the increase. God will bring the people, the 10 people. This can increase to 25 people. This can increase to 50 people if, if you want it to be. Whatever it is, this is just a sample. This is a template for you guys to definitely use in order to be able to flourish and to grow and different things like that. So this is one idea. So if I wanted to say, okay, 10 people, I want to make $10,000. Okay, I want to make $10,000. Well, you can turn that 100 to $1,000. All right, I don't want to erase that because some of you guys may need that still. But you can change this to $1,000 and everything else will, all the numbers will change. Okay, and you'll make $10,000. And so you say, well, I want $10,000 now, Desiree. Listen, okay, call those things that be not as though they were. It's not just literally speaking into existence you can will it you can action you can put action to it so if you want to try me out and you want to say i want to see if this really works okay well you can put out a flyer a story um on instagram or facebook you can do a video of inviting people to be a part of your anthology people want to help you people want to work with you but they just don't know how because you're not promoting it you're not telling people about it it just went down the timeline and it's disappeared nobody sees it again um you have to keep reminding people and that comes with marketing and advertisement marketing and advertisement if you do this for the month of december and put a deadline on how many people can participate on this and you put a price on it all right, I promise you, you can make $10,000 in the next two weeks, depending on how hard you advertise, how much action you really put behind this moving train. Because if you don't do anything with this, guys, trust me on this. If you don't do anything, it's just going to stay on the board. It's just going to stay here. It's not going to move if you don't put action behind it if you don't do anything so then you say okay well how do i put action behind it well you can do all kinds of different things you have to put action behind it oh i don't know if they're gonna see uh that color let me put purple all right so if you say okay well now that you have your framework what is your action plan how are you going to get these 10 people to see your stuff so you could say, well, how am I going to market? Where are they? Are they on LinkedIn? All right. Are they on LinkedIn? Are they on social media? Okay. Am I going to do an email blast? All right. Am I going to do an early bird? Early bird price. Okay. Am I going to do that? Am I going to do a Black Friday? Okay. A Black Friday sale. All right. Am I going to do uh, uh, videos? Uh, every Monday, Monday, all right, so people would know, 
Am I going to do videos every Friday? Am I going to do videos every single day? Am I going to do YouTube? Am I going to, uh, you know, when one person signs up, am I going to acknowledge them publicly and say, hey, Joey just signed up. We are so excited to have Joey on board. That is advertisement. All right. Oh, excuse me. What are you going to do to keep this thing moving, to advertise the action? And so this action, okay, well, what do you have to do to do this? Okay, I'm going to create flyers today. That is going to be my goal. I'm going to create flyers today. I'm going to do a countdown. Are you going to do a countdown? Countdown promotion. Promo. Are you going to do a countdown to say, look, we, we're going to only take people. Are you going to say, hey, we only got three spots left. Are you going to say there's only three days left to sign up Sign up for this? What are you, What is your action plan to get the 10 people? Because you know in this framework to reach your $10,000, what you need, now you got this framework, you need this, the 10 people. Now you can dream and say, what if I get 25 people, all right? how huge the conference is going to be, how awesome the tour is going to be, how great the book signing is going to be, how awesome the DVD is going to be. What an amazing feeling if I can help, if I can help 25 people just go out there and flourish because now I can help people and I don't feel financially burdened. I don't feel like I'm taking money out of my own pocket to help other people Increase their income. You know, have you ever felt like that before? Where you're like, I'm helping everybody else increase their income and nobody's turning around, donating to me or giving back. And the information and the tools and the whole framework that I gave them, they made all this money. They made $30,000, but nobody's turning around. But now you don't have to feel that way as a business owner where you can take one book and turn it into a business where you can do this every single quarter. So if you do this every single quarter, so this is times four, okay? You do this every single quarter times four, that's just $40,000, okay, for a year. That's it, $40,000 for the whole entire year. And that's just off of this. That's not your webinars, that's not uh, your other products, that's not from everything else, that's not from your book sales over here, that's not from your bundle, this money right here is not from this, this money is just for helping 10 or 25 people and helping them. Now, tell me guys, is this clear? Do you have any questions? Any questions? Thank you guys for helping me get at least 10 people in here to see this awesomeness, okay? Thank you guys so much for that, all right? Let me know if you guys have any questions, any more questions. Let me look on here. Uh, one second. Um, good to see you. I must look at it again. I can't hear in the train. Yes, you definitely have to do so. Good to see all of you guys here. Thank you so much, Heidi, Deatra, everybody for joining here inside of the broadcast. Thank you guys so much. All right, let me see if I can go out of here to look at the, uh, let me just leave for now. <laughs> oh gosh, let me go in here and see. Okay, I've been, um, I made it to my hour. Uh, yep, I made it to my hour. Uh, there's the link. One book, one thing. Yes. Uh, thank you so much for that. Thank you so much. Yes. Yes, I am definitely in the zone. <laughs> Tabitha, yes, I am definitely in the zone. I'm definitely, and it goes far more than just that. So again, if you want me to take a deeper look of what it is that you have to help you flourish, I'm here for it. One second, guys. Uh-oh. One second, I'll be right back. All right. All right, so we don't have any questions. Okay, I guess we don't have any questions. Well, if you have any more questions uh, following this broadcast, then just go ahead and put them in the comments box. In the comment box. 
um, that is no problem. I'm here for it. Thank you so much for everyone who is sharing this broadcast. I appreciate you um, greatly uh, for helping getting this information out there. You guys are definitely the best. Now I'm looking for my watch party here because um, I have to end it in a little bit. But yeah, so if you have any other questions or anything else, just put them inside the comments. Um, how is the tour financed? Well, it all depends. Um, Heidi, we can definitely, you know, get on a call together and I can definitely assist you with that. Thank you for your question. So I can definitely assist you with that, but we can get on a call because it's a, it's a little bit more complex than just this whiteboard here. Okay, so I would love to help you and assist you with that too as well, okay? And so um, any other questions, I can put the link in here for you guys to do that. However, again, if you guys want to join us on tour, we have the, uh, the 2020 AIB tour. We would love for you guys to participate and be a part of that too as well with us. And let me, I am putting in the link here again for you guys to take advantage of that so if you're saying hey look i just want to get my feet wet a little bit i want to be able to uh see what's going on behind the scenes i want to be able to understand all of this stuff and different things like that join us on tour there's more information where you can see what's all included um too as well to join us on tour all right this is a place where authors and business connect Thank you guys so much for giving me your time and also your attention. I greatly appreciate that. Please let us know what results that you guys are getting, okay? Let us know. Hey, look, I saw the video. I did the plan. And look, this is the results. Let us know um, so that we can celebrate you. Um, oftentimes, we get tore down so much that... Um, we forget to celebrate one another. So it's more than just a congratulation for us. It's okay, you got that. Let's go to the next thing. Let's continue to scale. So always remember to start small, dream big, and scale fast. I believe in you and your power. God has given you a sound mind. He is implugging to you witty ideas and creative inventions. All he asks is he says, hey, look, your obedience is better than sacrifice. Acknowledge me in all your ways and I will direct your path. Hey, look, you know, it's your faith that pleases me. And so when you see that, when you write it down and you write it out and you saw the framework of everything, it becomes like this big aha. And you're like, oh my gosh, what have I been doing this whole 2019? Why have I been just going around the circles? Look, going around the circle is experience, is building your endurance to be able to run the race that you're assigned to run. And so when you know that, and you look at it in a whole different perspective, it starts to look like new. It's kind of like a chair that's old, but when you refurbish it and polish it up and you look at it in a different light, it becomes brand spanking new. So make sure this week, this weekend, that you focus on one thing, one idea, one thing, and I promise you, you will render the results that you would like. All right, let us know if you guys want to participate in our upcoming webinar um, too as well. We would love to provide the link for you where we go over this stuff, but also we do an extended version of what we do here today. So let us know if you guys want to participate in our online webinar. We will definitely provide you with the link or if you want to go on tour with us. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next live stream. Who knows? I may come back on later this evening. Thank you guys for sharing. Thank you guys for inviting. And I love you guys so much. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.